In life, there are dreams that linger within us, like fragile whispers in the wind. They dance in our minds, filling us with hope and possibilities. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm currently the VP of Headbackers here in Cyberbacker. I took up nursing in the hopes of going abroad to work. It was perfect because my grandma is also in the U.S. It's actually my grandparents who sponsored me and my uncle who gave me allowance when I was going to um, the university. I was able to finish and graduate with bachelor's degree in nursing. It was when I was already going to the review center when I found out that I was pregnant. I still remember my college friend saying, Sinayang mo ang buhay mo. Being pregnant at 20 was actually not my plan. My plan is to be able to pass the board exam, be a nurse, work in the hospital, and then eventually go to the U.S. I was actually um, afraid to tell my parents that I was pregnant. I already took the board exam, but I decided to not tell them until I get a job. I went to every job fair and submitted hundreds of applications, but did not land a job. I feel lost and scared. I was already six months pregnant. I can no longer hide my pregnancy to my parents. I felt guilty as I was telling them the truth. I've let them down and shattered their dreams. Being a mom is not actually easy. Of course, you have to provide for your child. It took me a while to really get a job. Luckily, I was able to land a job in a call center. I stayed in the BPO industry for years and I then became a single mom. It was actually my choice to be one as I experienced being emotionally and physically abused by my partner. For me, I'm losing that time that I was supposed to be there for my son. There were days that he was sick and I was still working. There were birthdays that I've missed. There are Christmas, New Year's that I was not there for my family, especially for my son. I feel guilty that I was not able to be there for him while he was growing. It was also the time when my father died and my mom had to go to the U.S that I decided to look for a work-from-home job. But amidst the echoes of what could have been, there is a solace in knowing that dreams evolve, morphing into new aspirations and finding unexpected avenues of expression. It took me a month before I found this job in online jobs. They were looking for someone who's going to make calls, follow up with their leads. And that time, they are actually using a new CRM. And they needed someone who's going to handle that CRM. So that's actually the reason why they hired me. So after three years, there came Cyberbacker. And that time, they were looking for trainers for um, Cyberbackers. And I was one of the first trainers or what we call headbackers now. After a few more years, being a lead manager, a headbacker, I then became the director of operations for the real estate team of our CEO. And then eventually, after a few more years, I became the uh, vice president of the headbacker division. I can say that Cyberbacker helped me take a better path. I'm now permanently working from home, trying to give a good and comfortable life to my son as a single mom. I now go back and forth to the U.S., not with my grandparents' plan, but fortunately for a better opportunity. The burning desire led me here. For dreams realize our seeds of inspiration. I now cherish a different path that I have weaved. I am Hannah. And this is my cyberbacker story.